This is gonna be a long one. I've shared a poll on Patreon and most of you wanted me to do a tutorial on Comfortably Numb Pulse version. I think that is the greatest solo of all time. I don't say this often, but I think I did the best cover on YouTube. Please go watch that. And if you're interested in the tone, join me on Patreon. You will know exact settings of my pedals, my signal chain, my amp settings, EQ, and you can download a PDF file of tabs too. I'm dreading to make this video, but you guys are the boss. So first of all, I gotta wear this because this is the source of all my powers. Okay, so we're here. The song is on B minor and we're gonna be here and here, well, we're gonna be all over. And the last thing we do before we go into solo is just do... A D chord. Actually, David Kilmour plays this, he slides up to... And plays an open D string, then goes... But I wanna do this because this sounds fuller. We're on 7th fret on G string. We're gonna do a little vibrato. And then do a bend again. Then catch the 9th on D string, then catch the 7th on G string again. Okay, then we're gonna catch the 9th again. Okay, we're gonna do a little vibrato and we're gonna wait a little while we do so. Then we're not gonna pick again, but... We're gonna do a little bend. Without distortion, I can't get enough sustain, but you should not pick here. Well, you can pick too, but... This sounds more authentic, right? Okay, so with no pause, we're gonna be sliding up to 11th on G string. Okay, so let's slide again. Then we're gonna catch the 10th on B string. And we're gonna do a... One and a half step. Then we're gonna bend the 12th string again. And we're gonna leave it on bent. But, we're not gonna do... This is not a correct way to play. We're gonna pick... We're gonna... You see? You hear? Then we're gonna be here again on 7th. Do a little vibrato. Okay, very easy so far. Let's play from the top. Second part starts when you're raking on the seventh on high E. Okay. This is just an easy pentatonic scale. Okay. Rake is just you're gonna mute with your uh, other fingers and you're just gonna use your pointing fingers. I use pointing fingers on my high E seventh fret. Seven, ten, seven, nine. Okay, then we're gonna slide up to ninth on A string. Then we're gonna catch the seventh on G, uh, D string. 
Then we're going to do a hammer on. A quick hammer on. Then we're going to do double bend. Double stop, sorry. Okay, let's play that again. Okay, now the new part. We did a hammer on. Now, I gotta mention this, I always do this, and I think it sounds awesome. You see, just a little... I always encourage you to do this, do these little things, actually. Uh, especially on, on the turning away. You see? This is off topic, but I want you to like, okay, let's play from the top. Okay, then we're going to continue with a little break again, and we're going to catch the ninth on high E. And we're going to do a little half step bend. Then we're going to catch, not like me, but we're going to catch the 7th and we're going to catch the 10th on our B string. Okay, let's play again. Now the new part. Okay. Then what I like to do is give another rig. Just like this. And we're gonna do a bluesy lick. Okay. We're gonna digest that, but let's just play from here. Okay, from the new rake, the latest rake, we're gonna do 7-7 seven, seven, high E and B string, and then we're gonna catch the 10th, and then we're gonna be pulling off to 7th on B string, then without pausing anything, we're just gonna do this bluesy lick. If you're watching this video, I am like 70% sure you're not a beginner, so uh, you know what this is. This is just a blues lick. You know your pentatonic. You see? Okay. Let's play from the latest trick. Then, right after you do this, you're gonna do a pre-bend. Okay, let's play again. Let's play this again. Okay, uh, you're seeing tabs below. Uh, you can always play something like this. You can just add your variations too, but what I like to do is Okay. Pre-band. Then catch this again on G string. Okay. Just play that a couple of times. Please don't proceed if you're not comfortable with this. Okay, very easy pull-offs and just hammer-ons.
Okay, next part starts like this. Okay. Okay, again. What I like to do is, before I end, I like to hammer on here. This is all triplets. This is a triplet. Triplet. This is a triplet. Triplet. Okay, same thing for here. What I like to do. Very easy because Pulse version has a little slower tempo. You can just... You see? Follow the taps. Now for the new part. Okay. We're gonna do something like this. You see? We're gonna slide up to ninth. We're gonna uh, pick the seventh fret on D a bunch of times. Then we're gonna pick again, but we're gonna be on the ninth fret again. Do a little quick hammer on and a double stop. Then we're gonna do the exact same thing very quickly. You see? Okay. Now the new part. Then we're gonna skip the B string here and we're gonna go straight to a high E on 7th fret. Okay, let's play from the top. Okay, I sometimes play like this, but this is not a correct way to play, I admit. And I encourage you to play the better version. Okay, let's play that again. Okay. Now, the new part. Let's play it to this part. Okay, very easy, just play this part a bunch of times, you're gonna get used to them. Now the new part with a bunch of same triplets. Okay. Now let's do the triplets again. Okay, same triplets, you can just add your stuff to it. You see? You see, something like this. This series is your empty sheet. You are going to color this, so just play what you like. This is what I do. Then I'm gonna slide. Then I'm gonna pick the A string and catch the second fret.
Let's play that again and continue. <laughs> Last thing we did was now we're gonna pick the second fret again. So this part is very easy. What I can recommend is you just practice this band. You see? Just a half step, but it's very hard to bend uh, on low strings. Then we're gonna slide the second again. Then we're gonna be on the uh, low E. Third, fifth, second on A. Then fifth on A. Again, like I said, you could just do this, but you hear this? Then you're gonna catch the low E on second fret. Then I want you to do a little tremolo here. Something like this. And if you don't own a strat, shame on you. Shame. Shame. Then actually, David Gilmore plays a mini lick here, but uh, I'm gonna show you what I play. I'm just gonna slide. You hear? I slide down from low E and catch uh, A string and slide up to 9. Okay. This is very easy. Okay, again, a little slow. This little uh, vibrato here is very important. This little vibrato, I mean. Then we're gonna do a pre band. So let's play this part from the start. You see, I do this again. So you're gonna be on your 7th fret on B, but actually I like to rake here, I don't know why I didn't do that on my cover, but... Something like this. Okay, do that again. Then we're gonna catch the 10th and on 10th on high E. Then we're gonna do a bunch of bends on 10th B string. Then we're gonna do a release. And we're gonna catch the 7th. Then we're gonna do a big bend. Okay. Two full steps. Okay. This is one of those famous David Gilmore bands, right? Then we're gonna be here again. Okay. 
Okay. Let's play the part again. Cool lick. Okay. You're gonna be bending this a full step with your pointing finger. I want you to practice this at least 10 times. You know me, I always say 10 times, at least. Okay. There's just this mini bend here too. I want you to, I don't want you to ignore this too. Okay, let's play this part. This whole part was awesome. I want you to play this at least 10 times. Okay, we're gonna be resting just a bit. is very easy it's just repeats and repeats and repeats i honestly believe that you kill more wanted to rest a little so we play something like this we're gonna do a series of double bands Okay, so pinch here is very important, but David Gilmore likes these pinches on like on the turning away Without distortion, I don't have that good uh, pinch harmonic, but I'm sure you do So here we're gonna do double stops on 7th B and G strings Then we're gonna catch the 9th fret on D string harmonics are important here not every time but here and there you see okay and this is very easy we're on seventh if you don't know how to pinch I suggest you learn that, but just to give you a quick idea, you're gonna just be, uh, is, uh, am I in focus? Yeah. You're gonna be something like this. I mean, without distortion, I don't sound good, but. You're gonna be hitting with your pick and the side of your thumb. Okay, let's play this part. So the last thing we did was, How many times you play this but just keep up with the tempo and uh, you can just see the tabs I'm just gonna stop here then right where the bar finishes he plays something like this
Okay, very easy. Just like I said, just I don't know how many times it plays. Just look at the tabs or, well, keep up with the tempo. And the last thing we do before Nick Mason just. I think David Gilmour plays here just a little differently, but I'm gonna show you how I play because that's how I got used to it. Remember the blues lick? Okay, we're gonna do a couple of... I don't know, again, how many times, just keep up with the tempo. If you play this song over and over, you're gonna master. You're gonna do this. Let's see. That's what? Six? Five? To explode with Nick Mason, you're gonna do... Okay, let's play this again from the top. Cool? Perfect. The light show, I mean the ball, crystal ball appeared and the last thing we did was Then we're gonna slide and without waiting that much Again one and a half step Okay, let's play it again Cool lick from the top again. We're gonna do a pull off here, then do a hammer on again. Then we're gonna be sliding from 11th to 9 on uh, G string. Okay, let's play it again. This little mini... I always do these things. I don't know if it sounds cool or not. I think it sounds cool. I don't know if David Gibbard plays like this, but it's, like I said, this is your empty sheet. You're gonna color this. Finger. Okay, let's play it again with a little bit explaining. We're gonna slide up to 11th. Ooh. Then, without waiting that much. Okay, this is all again bluesy. Something like this. Let's play from here. Then we're gonna slap tonight. We're gonna do a mini vibrato here on seventh uh, D string. Gonna slide here. Okay, let's play everything from this part because this part was a little hard, I understand.
interesting with it was actually we're here it's very hard to play the uh, the other bend that we're gonna do right now here so what I want you to do is this then just leave it here and be here actually you can play here too but it's harder and we're gonna be here so I don't want you to just yeah, just choke the string. I don't want you to do that. This is what I did and what I recommend. Just a half step bent here. Just a mini half step bend here and pull off to 11th. Okay, again. Very cool. But I want you to play it here because we're here and we're gonna do a little cool trick here. So please practice this part. Now the new part. You hear that? Very cool indeed. So let's learn how to do that. Okay, so. What I want you to do is just a full step. You hear? Okay, very easy. I want you to practice this because it's really tricky. Okay, so let's play this part again. Okay, now the new part. We're gonna slide up to 12 on B string. Okay, very easy. Very easy. So finally we're going up the frets uh, a lot more. We're going to be sliding up the 19th fret on high E. We're gonna pick the 21st string, but we're gonna bend it just a half step. Okay. You see, this is actually B minor pentatonic. But I don't have the 22nd fret, so I can't play. Okay, very easy, like... Okay, again from the top.
Then we're gonna pick the 17 on high again. Now. It gets a little messy here. Uh, so I think we've a distortion and delay, it's gonna sound huge. But I want you to do this actually. Okay. Then we're gonna do... Just like we did here. Or here. This is a very comfortably numbish lick. Okay, let's play this part again, and my battery is about to die. Okay, before I continue, I want you to please, please, please play every part at least 10, 20, 50, 100 times before you continue. You don't want to move forward when you can't play the first things wrong. I want to have 100% success. I want every one of you guys to play this. So please, please, please just practice everything and send me videos. Why don't you just do that? Finish this video, practice, 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 make a cover. I have backing track on Patreon if you want. Upload your cover to YouTube and just comment the link of your cover. I want to watch that and I want you to improve. So please just cover, practice. gonna play the same thing here over and over again but before we do that we're just gonna do okay we're on the 10th fret on B string a full step bend then we're gonna do the same thing for 9th on a G string and then we're gonna catch the 7th on high E again okay then we're gonna do the same thing again but we're gonna catch the 7th on B Okay, now we're going to repeat the following riff. Okay, I don't know how many times. Please see the tabs and just follow the tempo. Let's play this again from here. We did this like a hundred times by now, if you practiced enough. Cool. Now the last chord progression before everything explodes. So we're gonna slide up the 12th. Okay, we're gonna do that again. Okay, let's play from here. Okay, again. These are all full step bends, by the way. Now we're gonna slide up to 14 and without picking we're gonna slide up to 17, okay? Just like this. Okay. Okay. I don't know if enough game for sustain, but... You're here. You're gonna slide. Let's play this part again.
Okay, we're gonna do exact same bends, but just keep up with the tempo. It's better if you listen the song again and again and again, you build up an ear for, I mean, how to play with tempo. So let's play this part a little faster so we can understand how tempo goes. Okay, I screwed up there, but I want you to mute everything else with your palm, okay? Except E. We're just gonna play high E on 17. You see, you see? You see the, you see the mute? And for the last one, we're gonna go to 19 and we're gonna bend it full and a half step. We're on 17th with our pointing finger, uh, high E, and we're on 19th on B string with our uh, middle finger. Then we're gonna bend it full step. We're gonna pick the B string here. Okay, and we're gonna just release the tremolo. Here. What I like to do is just abuse the tremolo here. I think it sounds better, but of course it's your taste. Okay, now I'm gonna show you another way to play. So I want you to use your pinky on 17 high E and your ring finger 17 on B string. You're gonna be pre-bending this. You hear that? Of course, without distortion and delay. Uh, actually, there are two delays here. He stumps on another one right before he plays this. Okay. And I talk about that on my delay video, which I highly recommend you watch that. It's an archive, literally. Anyway, what I wanted to say was uh, I can't get the enough feedback and delay and distortion and the sound, actually, without distortion. This is the easier way, and this is the correct way. Okay, you're gonna do that a bunch of times. Okay, he finishes the chord progression and plays it a few times more. You're gonna keep up the tempo, you're gonna play this a bunch of times more. And then you're gonna come here with your middle finger. I want you to use your middle finger here because uh, you're gonna use your ring finger here. So you're gonna bend the B string 17th fret full step. And then catch the 14 on high E. Okay. Okay, let's do that again. Okay. Then we're gonna do a quick slide off. Okay. Again, quick slide from 19 to 17. And then a quick pull off to 15. Then you're gonna bend your 17th fret and you will catch your 14th fret on high E. Near the end. You're gonna be bending the 10th fret on B string and you're gonna catch 7th uh, fret on high E, just like this. 
This is going to be your pattern. Okay. Then you're gonna move up two frets. You're gonna do the same thing here. Then you're gonna move up at one fret. Okay, just like this. Okay, let's play uh, ju just this three. So you can understand the difference between the first two and the third one. Of course, I want you to use your tremolo here, just this uh, is not enough. Then... Then you're gonna move up two frets. Okay. 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 Before we move any further, I want to play this again just to show you. One fret. Two fret. You hear? Now the new part, you're gonna be like, this is a little chaotic, I admit, uh, you can just pick whatever you want. What I do is, I bend both strings and add my uh, pinky to 15th, uh, 17th. Then at the last one, I remove my ring finger from the B string and place it on high E. Okay, again. Now the new part. Okay. Whew. Take a deep breath. Drink some water. Play this again and again. And after you do it a couple of times, Let's now continue. This is where you left out, right? Okay. Full step, full step, down. Then we're gonna do a quick hammer on a pull off and a slide. And then we're going to catch the 15th on B string. Okay, now we're going to bend this. We're going to bend this a full step and then release the 14 and catch the 14 on G string. Okay, let's play this again. Finally, now we're gonna finish songs over. We're gonna slide here, and then we're on G right now. So I want you to slide up the, the root note of G, which is here, or... Yeah. Then a F sharp. Then an open low E. Okay. Everything from now on, is up to you. You can just shred. This is all up to you. But let's play the last part again.
it's literally two in the morning. This took a lot of my time and I'm gonna edit this probably in two days while I take a dump, sorry, because I don't have that much time. So please, if you enjoyed this, help me make these videos better. Just go down to the comments, say this part is wrong, you should do something like this, add this, add this animation, I don't know, give me your thoughts. And if you really want to support this channel, well, me actually, I do everything. If you want me to keep uploading quality videos just like this for you guys, just go to my Patreon. It's like literally a gold mine for five bucks. You can access the tabs, backing tracks, tone guides, pedal settings, amp settings, I mean signal chains, EQs, almost every gear setting for my covers. I would literally give my left ball for a page like that. I don't want you to miss that. English is not my main language, I'm sorry. I hope this video was clear to you and I'll see you guys in the next one.